Hello, today I wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to make a password meter, uh, password strength meter in React using Prime React's password component. Uh, Prime, Prime React is a great library, it's uh, that's great documentation and allows so many different options. So one of my favorite components is their password component, makes it super easy um, to do these different features, such as hiding the toggling the hiding of the password and also using the password strength meter, of course. So let me show you really quickly what it looks like. So you have the enter password and you have a weak and then a strong, if I add some other text here, and then some numbers as so and then the, it makes it strong. So you have three different um, levels here and we can change the labels and we can change the regex that is applied to these different strengths so that it shows either medium or strong. Great, so let's start first with turning on and off the password strength meter. So by default, it's on. Actually, let's really quickly walk over what I've done here. So I started a new React app and once I've started the new React app, I have changed app.js to app.jsx so I can use the JSX uh, uh, syntax. And then I've installed Prime React and Prime Icons. To do so, you do yarn add or npm install Prime Icons and Prime React, like so. And since both of those are already installed for me, it's going to update instead of install. The next thing you have to do is import all three of these CSS files here. One's for the theme to style the components. One is for the core style also to style the components. And then one is for the icon that is used for toggling the showing and the hiding of the password. I've then cleared out the app component here and added a little div with some padding so that we can, it's easier for us to see the password. And I'm actually gonna add that padding, uh, some more padding to 40, just so it, it moves down quite a bit more. Oops, I haven't started yet, so yarn start start my app up and it should have moved down. Great, it did. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn off that strength meter. And to do that, you use the property feedback, which is set to true to true by default. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that to false, like so. And now you can see there is no password strength meter. Now I'm gonna turn that back on since that is the point of this video. Great. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change the labels. So we're gonna change the weak label and we're gonna change it to super duper weak. Just so that you can see. So great, so now there's the labels are back, um, the, the toggle password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter some lowercase letters. It says super duper weak right here. Right. Great, so the next thing we're gonna do is toggle the display of the password um, from the letters to the password a little dots. And to do that, we're gonna use the uh, property toggle mask. And we're gonna set that equal to true. And now if I go back, you can see we have a little toggle here. It's really that simple. And then if I go back again, um, I think I mentioned this, but I wanted to make sure you have to import password with brackets here from primary act slash password. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go over is changing the regexes. So I actually have a regex copied over here in my notes for strong regex. And let me copy this over. Fantastic. And this is going to require, this is a very strong one. So it's gonna require eight characters, two letters in the uppercase, one special character, two numerals, and three letters in the lowercase. I just copied it from a Stack Overflow page. So now if I come back, you can see the typical, uh, so this would, this password here with uppercase numbers and lowercase would typically be considered strong with the default, but it's not here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we've entered eight characters. We have two uppercase. We have, uh, we need a special character and we have some numerals and three letters in the lowercase. Let's see, three letters in the lowercase. Um, well, oh, it has to be exactly eight letters or eight characters. So it has to be two letters in the upper. This is confusing. One, two, three, two letters in the uppercase, three in the lowercase, and two numerals. Perfect. So now it matches our regex perfectly, and it's a strong password. 
Now the last thing that we're going to go over is some some templating. So actually, the uh, documentation for this component, which I will leave in the description below, has a header and a footer already set up. So I'm just going to copy those over for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to set it to a variable as they do. So I'm going to do const header equals h6 and pick a password. Now that was easy because I, I didn't need to copy it over since it was just one line, but I'm going to go ahead and copy the footer over here and change this React fragment. I'm going to get rid of them simply because, uh, because I'm using JSX, so I don't need that. And I'm actually going to also import divider here from primary act slash divider since they use that component in the template and I think it looks good. So the next thing that you're going to do is come down to the password component again and add the prop header and set it equal to header or, in, or if you wanted you could just put this actual component right in straight, straight in here instead of setting it to a variable. Um, sorry this was the header so this one and the footer you're going to do the exact same thing set footer equal to footer save it come on back over to the password component and as you can see there's the header there pick the password and the footer and it looks great now there is one more thing so if you want to actually do password validation and make sure that your password meets these suggestions you can do that in the submit of your form um, or the function that you're using to complete whatever action this password is needed for. But that is beyond the scope of this video. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe.